Welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at how we can deform a mesh. So we have a tessellation over here using a surface. If I will hide the surface, I'm just going to keep the tessellation. This will be the mesh. And if I will only display the surface, we're going to see that the surface will look like this. Okay, so to get started, this will be within Shape Sculptor Surface Sculpt. We're going to see that we can create a NURB surface to sculpt the polygonal mesh. And we need to select the four um, curves that will form the boundary of the region that will be sculpted. Now, the functionality of the control points tool is quite similar to the control points within modeling. If you're not familiar with this, I highly recommend you to, to check uh, the following video. So, Katia control points. As we can see, this will be regarding that, how to use control points. There are also some um, other videos some from other users that present that. Now, to get started with Surface Sculpt, if I will just click on this, we're going to see that now we are uh, prompted to select the four curves making the loop. So in this case, I know that this will be one. I will hold down control and select all of those. And afterwards, I need to select the mesh. And we're going to see how that mesh dome will be formed over here. Now we have the possibility to use, for example, mesh lines. So I can change those. And we see how that surface will also change in real time. So I have the surface set to yellow and I have the mesh set to, to brown. We can also move them um, normal to, to compass, for example. We can also change this for mesh only to points only. So just like with control points. And we're going to see a real time notification regarding the, the deviation. So we see that in millimeters over there. If I will only change one point, we're going to see that it will not create um, a steep geometry over here. So we need to select multiple faces to do that. So multiple sections from the from the mesh. We can also move them like this. So as you can see, this will be on the X direction. We can also use it on the compass plane. So in this case, it will go on this direction or we can go to screen plane and this will allow me to deform it in multiple directions at the same time. So overall, this is how you can use surface sculpting within um, within uh, Shape Sculptor in Katia V5. I will also make a video regarding sharp edge and about grid modeling. So those will be the following videos that will be created. So I hope that you enjoy this kind of content. I will position a similar video over here on the left. I will add the Katia V5 tips and tricks at the top and I will add the subscribe button as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching.